okay we're back with part two of uh, video tutorial number two of the Silverlight 3 series um, this is brought to you by Imagination Everywhere and the RIA Institute I am Ahmed Mojara and picking up where we left off we had ran the uh, Silverlight navigation application and uh, here you go you have the uh, about us page and you have the home page and you know you can hear the two links and the the significance is is that now in Silverlight you can use the back button of your browser to you know go back and forth you know um, and it, we have what's called deep linking so you can put child windows in here or more pages in here and more links um, add more links or even uh, a tree uh, a tree uh, tree view uh, where you know you have links uh, open it up once you have once you mouse over them. Um, so this is this is definitely new to Silverlight 2 in previous versions of 1 and 2 of Silverlight you are not able to do this and uh, we're, there is a tutorial that you can go over that talks about all this and in fact before we start getting back into expression blend and, exp and, and, and uh, visual studio please make sure that you go to the silverlight.net website this website right here and it shows you how to get started with um, Silverlight 3 applications and the first thing is to make sure that you have the Silverlight 3 runtime you cannot uh, build a Silverlight 3 applications without the Silverlight 3 runtime if you have the number 2 runtime uninstall it uninstall the number 2 runtime and reinstall and, and install the Silverlight 3 runtime and you can download uh, the tools for Visual Studio from either the web platform installer or you can uh, go to uh, the download location and download Silverlight 3 uh, tools for Visual Studio. Um, the requirements that you're going to have to have is please make sure that you have Service Pack 1 of Visual Studio insta installed. So if you just have Visual Studio Professional Edition or Standard Edition or whatever you have, make sure you upgrade. Or, uh, make sure you put in the uh, the update. Uh, not the upgrade, the update of Microsoft's uh, 2008 Service Pack 1, Visual Studio Service uh, Pack 1. Also, what you're going to need is uh, you can get a, a, a free edition of Expression Blend 3, uh, a 60 day trial. I actually have bought, I've, I've purchased the Expression Suite, so because all, actually all the Expression tools you can use in your uh, to build Silverlight a applications. Uh, but this is where, where you can go to get your ex, uh, Expression Blend 3 uh, trial or even even purchase it if you have a, a serial serial number um, and then of course you're going to need the deep uh, zoom composer uh, this is actually a free product so you can download that here and also the Silverlight toolkit you know the stuff that I showed you the tools I showed you in the uh, Silverlight application we stopped the bugging right quick um, these are the regular tools but then you have like the uh, the navigation panel the uh, scroll viewer the the themes the blue theme this the shiny blue theme the shiny red theme um, all of these are, are tools that we're gonna learn how to use uh, later on and more so and, and, and on top of that, uh, Silverlight actually has um, a sample browser that uh, I think I can find right quick. Uh, they have a sample br uh, browser. Um, I'm not gonna look look for it in um, this one, but uh, you know I, I will uh, pull it up um, later on. Um, also, you you want to have the uh, Microsoft.NET RIA Services July 2009 preview. If you install this on your machine, you get that uh, .NET class library. Um, you get that .NET uh, class library uh, 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 feature in your Visual Studio application. So here we go. We have the Visual Studio application right here. Um, it's not that large. I the font is large because that's how I like it. I want you to be able to see everything that's going on. And like I said, there actually there actually are videos that describe the anatomy of this application. So I'm not going to get into that. If you go back again to the website and 
you know, if you you want to get started with Silverlight, you know, you can go and sh do the Hello World application. Um, so you know that's cool. Here's the link to that video. But if we go back to the Silver, uh, the Visual Studio application, and if we want to go and we can't open this in expression we can't create this in expression blend but we can open it in expression blend so if you're a designer and you're like okay here's a code and all that you know but I don't wanna you know you know deal with the code right now I wanna go ahead and deal with the design as you can see the if you right click on the main page dot XAML or if you click on the if you click click on the main page dot demo you can open it open it with expression blend and as you can see it's highlighting um, it says this project or solution that you are trying to open uh, presents a security is do you want to open it anyways yeah of course you want to open it and we don't warn us again about that <laughs> so here we go let's go ahead and open it up so if you're a designer and you're ready to go ahead and start getting your project ready and you want to um you know start making adjustments and but don't want to interfere with the developer and don't want to deal in visual studio uh this is the this is the app this is this is your chance to do that and as you can see there's the physical design um you know we can highlight the different uh regions that's going on you have your your editor over here and if you're a developer and you still want to just look at the code here's the code behind here's the code view and of course there's a split view but you know uh, mainly for developers here's your what you see what you can what you get editor um, and you know you see all the the layers and all that stuff um, in there and any changes that you make in here will automatically be affected in Visual Studio so it'll ask you to save and do all the other things so you know so the so the so the application uh, the navigation application is one uh, civil light project that is created in Visual Studio but you can edit and open up in uh, expression blend okay so we're looking at the navigation application and I actually found the Silverlight sample browser um, there are actually two sample browsers but this is the one I like um, so if we want to talk about if we want to look at animations we can look at animations so you know we you see that there's an animation we can uh, see the fade in the fade out we can see the the transforms we can see the easings um, we can see the easings. Um, this 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 sample browser is the SDK sample browser. Now, if you want to look at the toolkit uh, sample browser, what you would do is just click on go to the Coplex uh, website, and here is the toolkit. So, if you want to look at particular uh, tools such as the Grid Splitter, uh, which does this, you know, it's it, it does. I mean, Silverlight is just a it's just a great technology I mean Microsoft really outdid themselves when 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 they've come up with this and here's the trusty old data grid as you can see you know as if you know from the visual studio I mean uh, the PHP pair tutorials so what we're gonna do in the next uh, video is go over uh, some things uh, as far as uh, the anatomy of a Silverlight application, uh, what you need to look for, uh, you know, wh how you need to lay it out, and uh, you know, and and dive a little bit more deeply into Silverlight. So I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and please click on the links and download the things that you need to download so that you can start building your Silverlight applications. Thank you, and see you in the next video.